Hey everyone, it's your girl Tara Michelle. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel, Opinionated Scents. Our safe space to discuss all things fragrance, whether we like them or not. Let's just cut right to the chase. These are my top seven favorite fall fragrances currently in my collection. In the number seven spot, we're going to start off with a difficult fragrance. Um, for me, I've spent so much time trying to love this fragrance because it's been discontinued, because it was on everyone's top 10 list for all the wrong reasons. So I've let it sit for years and now I have a newfound appreciation for it. Something about it changed since me having COVID and I can actually deal with the jasmine that's in it. This has jasmine, there's orris root, there's a beautiful myrrh note in here, along with some incense and cashmere wood. There's vanilla pod and white amber. It's a beautiful, spicy, sexy, vanillic fragrance. From the House of Mugler, which is known to really mess with your emotions and tear at your heart when dealing with some of the complexities involved in some of their fragrances, at least they used to do that. I don't know who's behind the reins now, but things have definitely changed and rest in peace to Thierry Mugler. But from the House of Mugler, we're going to be talking about Alienated Essence. That is not what this is called. That is the duo name. <laughs> so many people have been asking me to talk about Dua's version because this one is discontinued. This is Mugler's Alien Essence Absolute. Mm -mm -mm, the disrespect. My bad. So Alien Essence Absolute is the name of this fragrance and the Dua inspired by fragrance that we all asked for because this one is so hard to get is called Alienated Essence. I haven't tried it, but I hear nothing but good things. So back to this one. Um, I really struggled with this one to love it because of the amount of jasmine, but now I have found such an appreciation through trying it through uh, samples and also decants. I really have found my love for this fragrance and, um, it's sad that they discontinued it. It really is sad. But this is a beautiful fragrance, perfect for fall, lovely for date night. You could wear it to work if you wanted to because with the amount of jasmine in it, it's going to last. This is definitely a diva mode fragrance for me. I do not have to top up, especially since I'm a heavy sprayer. And I even tone it down a little bit because this is such a loud fragrance. So... I prefer it for date night. I prefer it for something that's sexy, even a business dinner or luncheon or meeting type of day. <sighs> it's a statement piece. It's a statement fragrance. A little goes a long way. Lots of sexiness to it, but also business boss lady mode. You're going to be taken seriously while you're wearing this, okay? Love it. In at the number six spot, we have one of my favorite orange blossom fragrances. Really, this whole line is amazing, um, pretty much when it comes to the orange blossom usage. But this is from the House of Lancome. This is La Vie Belle Eclat. So this one is a sweeter, brighter version of the original. I think there's less patchouli in this one than in the original, but the DNA is definitely still the same. This is a huge compliment getter. It is definitely a diva mode or beast mode fragrance, whichever vernacular you use. It means it lasts and it means it projects. Your scent bubble, your sillage, whatever you want to call it, whatever word you want to use, this one here is going to get noticed. You're going to get complimented. It is warm and cozy and inviting with a lot of sex appeal to me. You could wear it on date night, but that is the date night where you're just getting to know someone and you want to intrigue them. This isn't one I'm you know, enticing you to come home with me with. This is just one where I'm going to make a statement and let you know the type of woman that you're dealing with. I love this fragrance. Perfect for fall and winter. This is La Vie Belle Eclat. In the number five spot, we have another fragrance from the house of Lancome. This one is a spicy, jammy, fruity rose fragrance. I love the use of musk in this. So you're going to get you some raspberry, you're gonna get you some pink pepper, some musk and some rose. There's other stuff in here. I think there's peony in here too. There's other notes in here, but what I pick up the most is the rose, the raspberry, the pink pepper and the musk. What a beautiful fragrance. Perfect for date night, but also great to wear to work and to anywhere in the fall. This fragrance gets picked up by the wind, the breeze, and it just makes everyone happy who is in no shot of this thing. Such a pretty, such a sexy, such an interesting fragrance. Tresor Midnight Rose. 
So I've talked about her a lot. I've gone through several bottles of this fragrance. Um, took a trip to Arizona once and this was a huge hit. The compliments rolled in. And I already knew I liked her, but I didn't realize she was so mass appealing, so crowd pleasing because a lot of people have a problem with fruity rose musk fragrances. You add pink pepper or a little spice to it and people just lose their minds. This works for me. This is also one that I can spray on and don't necessarily need to top up. I do around the six hour mark because that's just me. It's like ingrained in my DNA that I need to always top up something unless it's like a shock off oob, then come on, stop. But this is a fantastic fragrance for fall, beautiful for date night and for going to work if you like. This is a universal fragrance, much like the La Vie Belle Eclat. Um, I do think I prefer the Alien Essence Absolute for date nights or important occasions where I'm trying to make a statement. But this one here, I could just, this could be a signature fragrance, a signature scent for someone for fall and for spring. I wouldn't do it for summer and not necessarily for winter, but you could if that's your thing, depending on where you live. But we have all four seasons here in the Midwest, and this is way too sweet, mosquitoes and bees for the summer. And I just don't crave this in the winter, me personally. So again, from the House of Lancome, this is Tresor Midnight Rose. In the number four spot, I feel like this fragrance needs no introduction. This is my Caramel Apple Baby. It is so sexy. Listen, I have been wearing her like twice a week for the past two weeks. I get nothing but compliments. Nothing but compliments. This fragrance was not a love at first sniff for me. I actually had to sit it on my shelf for about six months after I got it. I heard everybody's reviews and it was in everybody's top 10 holy grail list. I got it and was not impressed. Then I revisited and something about that opening synthetic note that sometimes hits in fragrances like from Mansara and from Swiss Arabian, this turned and just became something I love. I couldn't get enough of it. That original note that was throwing me off, I guess I just got used to it or either fell in love with it because this fragrance does it for me. This is from the House of Swiss Arabian and this is Casablanca. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love this fragrance. I can smell her just, just from right here. She's just so absolutely fantastic and delicious. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Um. I know my baby Claire was talking about how she just couldn't get with this one. I will be interested if she visits it in another two or three months to see if she still feels the same. Again, guys, I don't think this is a safe blind buy. I am obsessed. I am obsessed with this fragrance. No joke. But I also remember what it was like to smell it originally. So this is one that can creep up on you. This is one that can grow on you. So give her a chance. If you smelled it and you thought you didn't like it, before you return it, give her a chance. Because I guarantee you, it will be very easy to sell her if you make that final decision that you don't want her. With the dent in this one, I'll be looking for one soon. <laughs> in at the number three spot, we have my favorite honey fragrance on the planet from the house of Jean-Paul Gaultier. This is Scandal or Scandal. And this just does it for me. This is the perfect way to use honey in a fragrance. It is decadent, it is rich, it is deep. I just live for this fragrance. It's been a favorite for so long. This is actually my third bottle. And even though a lot of people tout, you know, oh, Scandal by Night, I'm so over a cherry note, I can't explain it to you guys. This has always been my favorite, followed by Aperi. I also like the other one with the tuberose. What is it? So Scandal. The line itself is nice. I don't have complaints about any of them, but the original takes the cake. True diva mode performance. It lasts and lasts and lasts. I prefer it for date nights. This is one of the sexiest fragrances I own in my collection, hands down. I love Scandal. Again, by Jean-Paul Gaultier. In at the number two spot is my second favorite fragrance of all time. So it's fitting that she's in the number two spot. She is, however, my most complimented fragrance ever. She is sexy. This is my third bottle of her. Her existence just changed the game for me, changed the note of vetiver into something that was sexy and feminine, along with the pear and the vanilla. Of course, there are other notes in here too, but we're going to focus on those three because that's what you're really getting from this. 
Ah, oh, the bottle is even sexy, baby. Give it to me. I love her. From the house, again, of Jean-Paul Gaultier. This is La Belle. This is the original La Belle. Nobody has time for her little twisted sister. Um, La Parfum, uh-uh. That's cool. Tonka Bean, love it. This is everything. The original La Belle cannot be beat, cannot be touched by anything else released in that line. I'm obsessed with her. Oh, she smells so good. You know, there are some days when I think she might be my favorite fragrance, to be honest. I don't know. I don't ever do a side-by-side -side comparison of the two, but mm, she's everything. Such a compliment getter. And when you, you are absolutely wearing this when you were trying to go home with whoever you went out with. If it's a person you live with, you're married to, or somebody that you, you know, just got to know and you're ready to move to the next step, this one is a no-brainer. She makes men go crazy. I've had so many men stop and ask me what I was wearing for their significant others or just to know. They needed to know what had hit them like that. It is such an incredible, beautiful fragrance. La Belle from the House of Jean-Paul Gaultier. Truly a diva mode fragrance. It lasts and lasts and lasts. I still top up around the six hour mark because why would I not? Why would I not? Like seriously. In at the number one spot, which is also fitting because it's my favorite fragrance of all time from the house of Guerlain. We're going to be talking about Mon Guerlain or the Parfum Formulation. Oh, this is my baby. This is my baby, the trifecta of jasmine and lavender and vanilla. This one changed the game for me. I just was like, okay, I'm doing this thing. I'm collecting these fragrances. I am all in. Just, just take me away like Calgon. So I love this fragrance. Warm, cozy, inviting, sexy, appealing. Huge compliment getter again. This makes me happy. I feel like the ultimate woman. I feel like I'm at my most woman-ness when I'm wearing her, I just, I don't know. She just hits me differently and I appreciate her so much. And I love the other flankers too, for the most part. There's a few of them I would just never, ever, ever. But this one here is my baby. I love her so much. My favorite of all time fragrance, my favorite fall fragrance as well. Again, from the House of Guerlain, this is Mon Guerlain or the Parfum Formulation. That is it for my fall fragrances. I hope you enjoyed my list. As always, in the comments box, I want you to tell me what your favorite fall fragrances are. Please do not forget to check my description box. That is where I put all the discount codes I have from all the businesses that have given me one. And that is where I link all of the fragrances I talk about and I find the best price for you guys. A lot of you came and asked me where I was going to get my bond number nines from. Surprising because I linked them all in the video. I always do. So be sure to read the description box. Please like this video while you're here. Also subscribe to my channel. Join the Terror Squad. Love to have you here. Share me across all of your social media platforms and do not forget to select the notification bell so that you never miss any of my future uploads. In my description box, I will also have a link to a GoFundMe for a young woman who lost her husband in a motor vehicle accident. Um, I believe he was riding a motorcycle. We don't know the ins and outs of it yet, only that she is now a widow to five small children, ages five to 14. So any help that you can give by donating and any shares that you can do across your social media platform to help this family, I will greatly appreciate it. We're really, really close to that 5,000 mark. So thank you in advance and thank you to everyone who has already helped donate it and shared. As always, I can't wait to talk to you guys in the comments and until then. Bye.